We are in Windows 10. I'm going to show you how to turn on or off jump lists and how to use them. So if we go down to the Start button, we go to the Settings icon. Now this option used to be available in the Control Panel Taskbar applet, but that is now being replaced uh, with this new option. So we'll click on Personalization, and then we'll click on the Start link at the bottom, uh, or on the left-hand side. Now we're going to go to where it says show recently opened items in jump lists on start or the, uh, or the taskbar. And we see that it's turned on. So if I go down to PowerPoint, for instance, and I right click, I can see all the different PowerPoint slides that I've opened in the past. So if I go ahead and close that, and then I go to turn that off, then I go to my PowerPoint, I right click, and those are all gone. Let's go ahead and turn it back on. And right now, it's all gone. But I went ahead and paused the video and opened up a PowerPoint slide, and now it's back. So one thing to keep in mind, if you do turn off the jump list, it does clear your jump list that you recently opened. And next time you open them, then it'll be available again. So let's go ahead and open up another PowerPoint, close it, right-click again, and now we see the other one. So that's how we turn on or off jump lists, and that's uh, also how we can clear our, our jump lists in case we don't want to see anything that's been done recently. Now, there's one other way to get a jump list to work, and I've dragged down this uh, Excel spreadsheet here. And that is if you have an icon that you would like to add to your jump list permanently, then you can go ahead and drag the icon down into the uh, Excel, for instance, in this case, and you see at the very bottom it says pin to Excel 2016. So I do that and look at that. Now it's pinned. So I can go back to it anytime I want and I can see it there. If I no longer want it there, I can just choose unpin from this list and now it's gone. So the difference between uh, the two different examples is one way keeps it there permanently and the other way only shows the most recent ones that you've opened up. So that's how you use uh, jump lists in Windows 10.